Hello you guys, it's Karina. As you can see on the title of this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my recent AliExpress purchases. I picked up a bunch of dyes from different stores and I really wanted to share with you guys in case you guys were interested as well. And like always, I will link all of the dyes in the description box below so you guys know where to look. So this is from a store called Leaf or Left store. It's spelled L-E-E-F-T. Um, I picked up this adorable little bear dye and I thought this would be perfect for washi tape samples and it's just like the perfect size and, and yeah I thought this would just be a cute little touch to your washi tape samples for your pen pals. This next dye is sort of random. I just added it in and I thought it was adorable. It's a little bear with a cute heart in the middle and I also picked up this skeleton dye perfect for Halloween coming up. So the next couple dyes that I'm going to be sharing with you is from a store called Bunny Moon and I absolutely love their dyes. So this is the first dye that I saw that I really wanted to get from their store and I picked up additional things because I think you had to spend like $18 to get free shipping and I saw a lot of other dyes that I wanted to buy so I was like why not. So as you can see it comes with seven different dyes and designs and yeah, I just thought these were super cute. It's like a little hand coming out of the grave. Super spooky for Halloween. So this next dye is sort of random, I don't know, I was just drawn to it, I just thought it was adorable and I added it to my cart. It's a cute little goose with a little hat and a bow and I absolutely love it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it but I'm sure I'll find something creative. Next up I have this bow dye and I did have trouble with this one because um, I think the paper when you run it through the die cutting machine it's too thin and when I try to take it out it just ripped apart. I did use regular cardstock paper. I don't know if maybe I need to use something more sturdy. Um, I think there might be hope for this dye but who knows, we'll see. So I also picked up these paperclip dies. I thought these were pretty cool. Um, it has the numbers 0 through 9 so you do get a lot. Um, so what I had in mind for this die is like if I, if I wanted to do like an advent type swap with one of my pen pals, I can use one of these little um, paperclips to number which days and just decorate it. Or um, I thought it would also be cute to tuck it in a photo um, for a birthday. You can add their age. You can also use this for organization purposes. And yeah, I don't know. I feel like there's many ways you can use this. So I got that. I also got this bag for the fall. Um, and I think I was given a freebie because I do not remember ordering this little um, hedgehog which is very perfect for fall as well and that's how that little guy looks like and then here's the pine cones and these do open up a little bit that way it gives it some texture so this die is also one of my favorites that I picked up from their store it's these cute little Disney treats and you get four different designs how cute would it be to make like a little Halloween version of the um, candy apple that would be so adorable and I did have trouble with just one of the dies where I had to run it through the machine a couple times to get a clean cut um, 
which was the little swirly one but it still turned out super cute i have no regrets with this dye i absolutely love it This next dye I fell in love with as well. Um, it's a cute little bunny holding a leaf and look how adorable that is. So this is the dye in its entirety. And this is what it looks like all put together. He's so intrigued by that leaf. It's so cute. So I also picked up his friend and I love this one as well. It's a little bunny holding a mug. So this comes with three dyes. You get the hat, the coffee mug, and the cute little sweatshirt. And I believe the two dots up there by the mug and the hat are supposed to be its buttons for the sweater. So what I like about this die is that it does die cut out the hands as well. So you're able to squeeze in the little mug in between its hands. So it does look like it's holding it. It just gives it a more realistic look instead of um, gluing it right on top, if that makes sense. But yeah, I love that. So this die I got as a layering piece for some of my projects and I love how dainty it looks. I love anything dainty and this was just up my alley. I also picked up these two dies with Halloween in mind. It's a cute little candle. And I also got this broom, which is a lot smaller than I expected, but I'm sure I can still make use of it somehow. I also picked up this cute little star wand. And then, um, I don't know what to call these, but I also got this and I love how you get, um, I think one, two, three, four, so you can do some layering. So this is how it looks like once you die cut it all out. I did use some foam to make it pop out a little more and I just love how that looks with different patterned paper. It just looks so pretty. I also picked up this pretty leaf die. It comes with a two. And one of them is just a little smaller, but they're very similar. I also purchased these bag toppers and I think they look so pretty. They're really different from the ones that I have and you get two different sizes, a bigger and a smaller version. And the design is the same and this is what it looks like all cut out. I think it's super pretty. So the next store that I picked up dies from is called Piggy Crafts. So I picked up this adorable um, ghost die and it comes with four different little ghosties and I love how small these are. I feel like these are perfect for some shakers and um, I love their little faces too. I also picked up this die set as well and it comes with six different designs. Um, I love this because you can make little paper charms because it has the little hole in there that way you can put your string through it and I don't know these are just so adorable I had to get them. I just had to get my hands on these little sweaters. These are just super adorable. It comes with two different um, designs and 
I think these are supposed to be Christmas sweaters because on one of them it does have like a little reindeer imprint but you don't have to use it for Christmas you can um, utilize it with any other holiday I did use this to make some Halloween sweaters and I did post that picture on my Instagram and you guys seem to really love um, how they turned out which I will include a picture in case you missed it but yeah super adorable So this flower dye also caught my eye, so I just had to get it as well. I think it looks super pretty. It reminds me of the little um, flower that you get when you have five stars on Animal Crossing, which I do not have yet. <laughs> but yeah, I think the flower is super pretty and I love the leaves as well. I like how it embosses like the little lines to give it a little more um, texture. I also picked up this pretty circle frame die and what I love about this is that it also has little clouds. Next up, I also got these alphabet charm dies and I thought these were pretty cool. I love the idea of it being like a charm. I feel like it's the perfect way to personalize something with your name and I don't know, there's just so many ways you can use this die. Uh, what I did here is I cut it out the letters of my pen pal's name and I did use some twine and wrapped it around this bag which did have some goodies in it and I just think it looks super cute. I picked up another flower and leaves die set and this one comes with five different dies. You get two leaves, two flowers, and then like a circle leaf die. So I mainly got it for this one. I think it looks super cute. So for this one, you can definitely use it by itself or you can layer it like so. I think either way is gonna look really cute. I got this die set as well. It's like these um, strips, you could say. Um, it comes with a star, a moon, and a heart. I really love the moon one, and I'm not sure why there's a hole inside the um, heart die. I thought it was kind of random, but it's still cute. I picked up this really, really, really pretty banner strip die. I love the stars. This just gives me a dainty vibe and I just had to get it. I also picked up these super tiny tags. I thought these were so adorable and very small. I did use this little tag die to make the little tag on my Halloween sweater and it was just the perfect size. I also picked up this mug die set and I love that there's a bunch of different designs and they all look really cute. Some of them have a little heart inside. And here is another leaf die that I picked up. <laughs> this one comes in a set of three and it's like these cute little leaf strips which are so pretty and delicate.
I got this heart die set and I think this looks gorgeous. I love the outside of this, like it looks like a lace. So it comes with two pieces, um, so you can either have the inside cut out or if you wanted to leave it as a whole, just take out that little thin die cut and this is how it turns out. I think it's really pretty. So the die also came with this baby sentiment, which I don't remember seeing it in the picture, but um, so I wasn't sure if it came with it or, or if it was like a freebie or something, but um, this is how it looks like. It says baby, it has the outer side and then the word. I also picked up this scribbly frame die and I thought this looked pretty cool. And I did have trouble with this one, not with the smaller ones. I think those um, cut out perfectly. I just had to run it through the die cutting machine, um, I want to say like two to three times. So that turned out perfect. As for the bigger frame die, I did run it um, two to three times as well, but I wasn't able to get out all these smaller in between pieces out so um, it did cause it to rip but I feel like I could still use this die so these dies are from a store called cat love shop and I did pick up a couple dies from them as well I got this really cool grid um, die and I got this for layering I also picked up this dandelion die set and I think this looks really cool. I love how it looks like on gold paper. Um, I thought this would be cool to put on a rosette so you can have those popping out. I also picked up this maple leaf die set and I got this mainly for some layering as well. Perfect for the fall season. And this is what it looks like all cut out. I love like the little circles on there. I think it looks cute. I also got this die for some fall crafts. You get this cute little heart thingy and then the leaves and this little acorn. I also picked up this wreath die and that's how it looks like I think it's super cute um, I think it's supposed to be like branches so I got that and it also comes with four stars in different sizes and then I also picked up these um, cloud die and it comes with a bunch of different sizes so, I have got another branch die. I picked up this one right here of these locks. And I think you can make one your own with this right here and that. And then I also picked up these flower dies and this is how they turn out once it's all put together so you can layer how much flowers you want on one flower for mine i just did two layers and this is how it looks like And this is how the other flower turns out. So that one comes with three different dies. All of them have different patterned um, petals. So this is um, what it looks like um, once you layer it all together. So this last die I have to share is this number die and I picked it up from 
a random store. It didn't have a name, but I've seen that a lot of people had purchased this exact die and it had a good review. So I definitely don't have regrets. Out of all my orders, this is what shipped to me the quickest. So that was definitely a plus. And I don't have a number die, so this is perfect for what I'm going to be using it for. So I did go a little crazy on Ali, but I'm happy with all my purchases. Um, so that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye everyone!